Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, recently, a viewer asked me, uh, she said that when I watch your video, your walk looks clean and spotless, and my walk always look dull and uh, stand on it. And I have the same walk as yours. How do I get my walk look like yours? I use a Kusina 14 inch stainless steel wok. I really like this wok because I can keep it clean and shiny. Most of the time it takes me about one minute to clean the wok, but sometimes it will take me longer. But it is what you do during cooking as well before cooking will determine how much time you need to spend in cleaning your wok. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to keep my wok clean and shiny by making an egg omelette in the wok. I call this Tax Omelette Supreme because I have never seen other people make omelette in this way before. And this is probably to me is the best way to make an egg omelette. And making an egg omelette is probably the most challenging task that you would put to a stainless steel frying pan or stainless steel wok. And because this is due to the high tendency for egg to stick to a stainless steel cooked surface and end up being burned. And when that happens, cleaning becomes an arduous task. And for this reason, for many people, when they come to make an egg omelette, they will make them on a cooked surface with non-stick coating. However, if you want to have your stainless steel wok or take up multiple cooking functions, then figure out how to make an omelette in it without sticking it will be well worthwhile. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cook a tax omelette supreme and then clean up the wok afterward. The first and most important thing to do is to make sure you season the wok using my spot seasoning method. Uh, you can take a look at this video to get more information about this method. Uh, you first heat up the wok and you add oil to the wok. Uh, you heat up the oil until it starts to smoke gently. Uh, you then turn down the heat or you turn off the heat completely and let the oil to smoke for another 15 seconds. And this is the time when the wok is being seasoned. The longer you let the oil smoke, the better the wok will be seasoned. A 15 second is generally long enough. And if you find that the egg still stick to the surface of the wok, then the next time let it to smoke for a little bit longer. And this method is different from the traditional method in making an egg omelette. Uh, instead of beating up the eggs in advance, uh, you add each of the eggs individually to the wok. Uh, for this egg omelette, I'm going to use four eggs. Uh, the Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok has a relatively large flat bottom surface area. It is about 9 inches across, uh, almost like a small frying pan. Uh, this is about the right size to make a regular size egg omelette. After the egg white has been partially cooked, I use the wok spatula to spread the egg yolk over the surface of the egg. And next, I add half cup of chopped white mushroom. Uh, instead of spreading them over the entire surface of the egg, I position them on one side of the egg. And this is followed by the addition of some chopped scallions. And by now, I turn the heat to low or medium low to prevent burning the egg. And this is followed by addition of some feta cheese. I sprinkle about one to two tablespoons of feta cheese over the scallions and the mushroom. And the reason I cook the egg omelette this way uh, it's because I cook the egg white and the egg yolk separately, uh, very much like uh, when I fry an egg. Uh, to flavor the omelette, here I add some of my basic seasoning mix. Uh, this seasoning mix is to enhance the natural flavor of the ingredients by adding umami flavor. Uh, you can take a look at this video if you'd like to learn more about the composition of this seasoning mix. And of course, you can season the omelette in whatever way that you would like. With some salt and pepper will be great. 
I came across this method accidentally because I like egg omelette as well as fried egg. Uh, if you like fried egg, you will probably find this egg omelette enjoyable because the egg white will be fried separately from the egg yolk. Uh, as in the case of fried egg, uh, the egg white will take on a crispy and crunchy texture. And this is the primary reason that why most people like fried eggs. Uh, in a conventional egg omelette, where the egg white and the egg yolk are beat to mix up together, uh, the egg omelette will lose its crunchiness. But in the case of this approach, the egg white is being fried separately from the egg yolk. It will retain its crispy texture and give the egg omelette a crunchy characteristics. Uh, by now, the egg yolk is almost cooked, probably about 80% cooked. If you would like to retain some softness in the middle of the egg omelette, then it is about the time for you to fold the egg omelette. And by this point, it is critical that the wok is well seasoned, because you do not want the egg to stick to the surface of the wok. Well, the wok is well seasoned because the egg did not stick to the surface of the wok at all. And I can fold the egg over without any problem. And next, I transfer the egg to a serving plate. Cooking this egg omelette is very fast and it takes only about 5 minutes. And then I garnish the egg omelette with additional scallions and feta cheese. I usually clean the wok immediately after I cook. This is the best time to clean the wok because the wok is slightly warm and it makes it easier to clean. But for in this instance, I'm going to show you what will happen if I do not clean the wok several hours later. As you can see here, the wok does not look bad at all. Uh, but there are some yellow colorations at some parts of the wok. Uh, this yellow coloration are uh, due to the oil uh, after they have been sitting on the surface of the wok uh, for several hours and developed this yellow color. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my Pimara wok brush uh, to clean the wok under running water. Uh, you can use any type of brush with relatively stiff bristles to clean the wok. I like the Pimara brush because the bristle of this brush is made from natural palm fiber. They are durable and long lasting. The Pimara brush did a pretty good job in cleaning the wok, but you notice that the yellow stand still remain on the surface of the wok. And to clean this stain, I need to do some scrubbing. The only thing that I need uh, to scrub it is some 3M Scotch Bright Scrub Sponge. Uh, to make things simple, that's all you need. No soap, no detergent, or scrubbing chemicals. Uh, the effectiveness of the scrubbing is going to depend on the freshness of the scrubbing sponge. And here on the right is a scrubbing sponge that I have been using for about a month and it has lost quite a bit of its effectiveness. And the one on the right uh, I have used for about a couple weeks and it's still fresh and highly effective. I normally keep two scrubbing sponge and I use the fresher one to finish up with the scrubbing. Uh, this will allow me to remove the residual stains and remove the haziness that uh, sometimes might occur on the surface of the wok. So the total time for me to clean this wok is a little bit over 3 minutes. Uh, so if I have cleaned this wok right away, it probably only takes half amount of the time. Uh, so cleaning this wok is not as onerous or as difficult as it might seem, particularly if you start out in preventing food from burning to the surface of the wok. A cooking an egg omelette uh, in a stainless steel wok is a challenging task, but you can see here it is not bad at all. I post a video each day to make home cooking practical, efficient, and fun. 
Cleaning and taking care of your walk efficiently is important in make home cooking as part of your daily routines. And my YouTube channel is to show you how to adopt my fast cooking system. Uh, if you would like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep on cooking. I will see you next time.